Good morning. It's August 11th, the day after I saw my TMJ uh, surgeon. Um, great news. It seems that all I need is therapy. Um, and I've heard of that therapy on my uh, TMJ Facebook. Uh, but I want to film what I do for health since I saw a recommendation from my uh, primary physician, which quite frankly, I found insulting because I gave him my symptoms uh, so he could uh, uh, sign a document for my disability regarding the accident, the auto accident, because it doesn't seem like he believes me at all. Um, he really doesn't know me. He doesn't even, I don't even feel he looks at me in the face, in the eyes when I talk to him. I don't feel that he feels my pain. I don't think that he's convinced about anything. Quite frankly, he tells me he can't guarantee anything about my disability. Well, you're not the one to guarantee anything. It's the insurance company. And so I feel that he's not convinced about my health. He's not convinced about the symptoms. I actually wrote it down because I don't, I don't, I don't think many, many patients do that, right? But I have to get out of my way to do that. But I think that it all the more makes him think that I'm an actress and I'm faking things. So, um, when I left, uh, my, my surgeon's uh, appointment, I mean, not that I need surgery, but that's what he is. I pronounce it malefactual, uh, surgeon, uh, for TMJ, but I know it's mispronounced for sure. So anyway, um, after I saw him, I saw in the back that there were prescriptions of vitamins and I know I'm, I'm low on my D, D3, uh, but for him to tell me to take vitamins because I'm complaining of being lethargic, having fatigue as a result of the accident, to me, is an insult, okay? Because I know about vitamins way more than, I hate to say it, but I believe I know way more than most doctors when it comes to taking good care of myself. I know about Chinese uh, medicine, okay? I know about, um, uh, oh my goodness, about uh, wet cupping. I know about dry cupping, okay? I know about, there's a laser, a, a wrist band that has laser in it. It cleans the, purifies fies the blood, okay? I know about a lot of things. I'm not into exactly acupuncture, uh, although that is an alternative, okay? So I'm into alternative medicine, and that's not what doctors of medicine are. They're doctors of medicine, right? Pharmaceutical. I, I'm not going to discredit doctors, but... The, I don't, I don't have positive things to say because I disagree with pharma. Pharma is witchcraft, okay? So, you know, they craft, you know, herbs with chemicals, and I just don't agree with that. And there are more and more doctors uh, agreeing with it and, and, and transferring over to my side, and I could have proof of everything. So this is here proof, okay, that I do know a thing or two about health, okay? I take collagen. I, I, I'm supposing this is only um, a cleansing that I'm doing here. Uh, this is a protein that I take by BioTrust, which I'm going to start taking because for my muscles, I really should be taking it. I just realized that my condition is really the muscles in my throat. That's why it's slowly swollen. I'm getting like a double chin, which is not normally there. I don't think that it's aging. Uh, it started to come up as the pain of TMJ came. Who knows? It may prompt the, the, the double chin to, <laughs> to stay there and it's not going to. I don't have the elastic I used to, so I'll, it's probably caused it, but the appearance is probably going to show. Continue. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I take protein, and this is really good, okay? Um, I'll be honest with you. I've been a little careless about taking my protein since the TMJ because I've been so distracted with this pain that um, I, I, I've been focusing on my night guard and all. So I'm going to show you my night guard as well. So I've, I've haven't used night guards that are not prescribed. I'm very careful. So what I do is this is my night guard. See how thin it is. You see how thin it is. It's only this thing that I'm grabbing it through, holding on through my nail that holds it in place. Believe it or not, this does a lot. Okay. This does a lot. See how thin it is. Okay. And I have another film where I'm wearing it. This is all you see between the teeth, the thinness of this right here. This thinness of between comes between my teeth. I can't I can't allow 
anything thick between my teeth while I'm sleeping or in, at any time uh, because it may alter my bite. And um, this is also very comfortable. Okay, as you can see, this is... Uh, okay, as you can see, it's not hard. So it's not altering my bite. Um, I'm not going to do anything to hurt myself. Uh, the doctors warned me uh, yesterday when I spoke to him. I told him about my guard. He says, are you sure it's not hard? It could alter your bite. Well, listen, I think I know a thing or two about my body. And, and, and I'm going to repulse anything that I feel is going to harm me. So uh, sometimes I think that good old-fashioned medicine, uh, alternative medicine, is good because you're reading into your body. Doctors don't know anything about your body unless you tell them, right? Now, what's the downside of that? That when you tell them something about your body, like I provided my physician with a list of my symptoms, the downside is he thinks I'm an actress, okay? He thinks I'm faking it. So he, he, he puts a prescription to take vitamins. Really? Vitamins? I'm suffering from fatigue. Okay, I'm here. This is my, my cleansing. Now, you, in other videos, you will see that I actually do juice uh, my vegetables, but I also have powder, uh, powder here. This has turmeric, it has wheatgrass, it has um, um, uh, charcoal, uh, oh my goodness, I can't think, my brain, um, chlorella, okay? It has a bunch of green things in here that helps in a cleansing. Do I like seeing something in here? Is it like a stick? Oh my goodness. Anyway, and I mix it up myself, okay? I mix it up myself. It has lots of turmeric, but it has plenty of greens, wheatgrass, chlorella, and a bunch of other things that I can't think of because it's 5 o'clock in the morning, okay? All right. So instead of milk, I take coffee with C8, okay, and TC oil. This is the only brand that works and melts in your coffee, but you got to cover it and let it melt. I, t I took collagen for months before the accident, Okay, I think that my results would have been way worse had I not done this. Okay, so I pat myself on the back. Yes, I do. Okay, so I take this with this and this. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna take it now actually. And I'm gonna, oh, for crying out loud. And I'm gonna take this, some fiber, all of this, and it's gonna help me do a cleanse. And then I massage my stomach and I do a colonic. Um, hold on a second. So I actually have a bag, So, but I'm going to show you this as an example, like a fleet enema, okay? You got to cleanse yourself. I'm not really doing this yet. Um, I apply when I've been doing this for days and days, and I just started doing this, although I have been juicing for months. Um, I resumed my juicing about two weeks ago, the fresh greens juicing. Uh, it, normally, typically, it's either this or juicing, okay? I'm actually doing both. Uh, but with the busyness of going to, to, the, to the doctors, my, for, for my IME, and then f finally to see my surgeon, uh, it's very hard to get an appointment by the way. So I've been a little distracted. Okay. Besides not having any income, uh, scrambling to see how I'm going to do things, empty bank account. <laughs> and then, uh, having, having a, a, an irresponsive, um, Physician that does not respond to me regarding getting a form signed, which would help me make a claim because I have my own accidental insurance. Uh, he, 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 he has not been responding. Finally, he responded because my surgeon prompted him to yesterday. And oh, voila, all of a sudden I got a response and he says, oh no, it's because she made a mistake. So I didn't sign the form. Well, I, I did send a correction many, many times. I called many, many times. I had long, 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 long discussions with the nurse and all to no avail. Still don't hear from him. So he writes that uh, he can't guarantee anything. So what's he hinting that he doesn't believe that I know what I'm doing and how I'm taking care of myself or doesn't believe my report on my symptoms? I mean, I have to write them down because if I don't, you forget too. I mean, I'm distracted with sometimes I'm distracted with numbness and, and, and swollen, a, a swollen, um, what do you call it? Uh, jaw. Um, and I cry a lot. I mean, I'm in no condition to be trying to convince anybody about anything, but if the doctors have a problem, 
uh, believe in me, I sent him an email uh, about a week ago. I said, talk to my chiropractor. He knows me. He looks at me in the eyes. He touches my muscles. He knows when I'm in bad shape. Okay. He's helping me. This is the only chiropractor that has made a difference because I had another one that was good for nothing. Okay. He was good for the first two weeks. I'll give him credit for that. He, he, he helped me with the jaw locking. Uh, but after that, I actually got worse. I got something else. My, 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 I, my, my jaw became disaligned. Uh, I can't chew. Um, I swell easy unless I sleep in a certain position with, believe it or not, this miracle guard here that anybody would think, uh, let, let me give it a close up. Look, look, see how thin it is. Okay. The thicker part just goes under my, the roof of, roof of my mouth. But you see how thin that is? I cut it up, okay? And it's soft, as you can see. Anyway, I'm doing things to take care of me. But this man, um, and I'm calling him a man because he's acting like a man, you know, like full of imperfections. He's not, he's not, to me, he's not acting like the doctor that I feel that he should be. You know, someone who listens to his patient and believes his patient. So he prescribed multivitamins. Okay, vitamin D3, I have them here as well. Um, but I, I, I'd rather take the sun, um, some sunlight and yeah, I neglected to take vitamin D3. If I show you my vitamin closet, you would think I sell, ins I, I sell vitamins. That's how my, my friend used to have a joke that he, he walks past my, my, my pantry and it smells like vitamins. That was just a joke, of course, but I know about vitamins. I don't need a doctor to tell me to take vitamins. All right. He's a doctor of medicine. All right. I know about vitamins and I have plenty of it. Yes. I neglect to take D3. Okay. But, uh, I, I do know how to take care of myself. Okay. All right. This is, this is above average, um, patient here talking that I know a, a thing or two about vitamins. So I'm doing a cleanse anyway. I'm doing this for my high cholesterol because he wants me to take a statin drug, which I refuse. So I decided to to uh, be encouraged. And I, I thank him for that. I, I am grateful that he, he told me as well, you got to take the statin drug because this could happen to you, whatever, whatever. So I, I decided to step it up and now implement this into my diet in the morning on an empty stomach. Then while on an empty stomach, a couple of hours later, I will do the fresh juicing if I can, if I'm not rushing out the door, which I, I rarely do. Okay. So I, I do the fresh kale. I do celery, from the farm, from the farmer's market, I, I actually, sometimes I'm fortunate enough to get it from the, uh, get a version from the Amish, which is homegrown and you can see it. It's different. It looks different than the regular celery, celery that's store bought. But nevertheless, I use whatever celery I can, is whatever kale I can, carrots, um, spinach, whenever I can, uh, fresh pineapple pieces. Uh, sometimes I run out of things. Like I run out of apples. I had to throw out the apples cause they've been going bad. The oranges, every time I buy them, it seems like they're selling us frozen oranges. Cause when I put it in the fridge, it turns into water. Something's wrong with, 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 with the supermarkets because of what was happening last year with the truckers. So things aren't getting to us that fresh these days. Um, uh, okay. With the bananas, I make myself banana smoothie with strawberries and I put, let me show you probiotics. I'm going to pause this for a second here. Uh, what do I pause? So anyway, um, here's some things. Good karma milk, flax seed milk. I actually could make this milk or soy milk. I have a machine for it and I've done it before. This is what I use for my uh, powder, my um, protein powder, which I add MC3 as well to it. And I add collagen. Now I've been slacking off on the protein powder, but I've been taking this for years. So, I mean, my muscles, my tendons should have been in, 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 in good fighting shape by the time I got, got into the accident on December 15th, 2021. I was taking this mat time before the accident <laughs> and even a little after it. Uh, I was distracted because little by little things were falling apart in my body because of the accident. Okay. So my accident symptoms are not an act and they're not because I'm malnourished or because I need vitamins because I know what I'm doing pretty much. I know how to take good care of myself and I don't need a doctor of medicine to tell me to take vitamins because they're doctors of medicine, not of health. Sorry to say it. And I don't mean to insult anybody, but, um, those of you that are from the islands, I'm not from the islands. My mother was from Puerto Rico. Uh, but 
it lingers off, right? My mother always used to read alternative medicine, okay? Uh, these are the yogurts that I take in my smoothies. First thing in the morning, an empty stomach. I start off with my probiotics because I have not been chewing well. So because I don't chew well, I need to, I need to uh, take something to help me. That's why I'm doing all this because I'm not chewing well. And uh, no, I'm not eating a whole lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, steak and stuff. Um, I mean, I had steak a couple of times uh, during the holidays. You know, people make some steak in the barbecues and all that stuff. Um, so I do smoothies. I ran out of strawberries. Uh, I'm always running out of something, right? Um, but anyway, this is the film to prove that I'm no slouch when it comes to health, okay? If I have bad, bad health right now, like right now I have high cholesterol, well, it is genetic, um, or generic, whatever. Uh, yeah, I confuse both words, so why? Um, but I don't mean to come on with an attitude, but I need, I, I, I mean to prove that, you know, I can back up what I'm saying on my symptom, symptoms. I, I mean, well, I'm doing all of this, yet I have the symptoms that I have. So it's not a, a blood issue. I did do my blood work, so he's reading off my blood work probably. I don't need vitamins, though. I mean, I, I, I'm busy enough with this, all right? I'm busy enough with this, which I feel is is, is a lot more urgent right now for me to do. Um, he's trying to say that I need vitamins. No. So, uh, somehow this TMJ has kicked in fatigue. I get lethargic. This is not vitamin deficiency, all right? It's not, <laughs> you, you kidding me? Really? Really? It's not like I live off uh, fast food every day. In fact, I don't do fast food at all. In fact, the only time I've done fast food um, in many, many, many years was um, I, I went to Wendy's maybe once a month. I rediscovered their their little junior hamburger, okay? And I probably ate it once a month, okay? So, yeah, I believe I, I, you know, I'm getting older and my body's starting to turn, right? I'm starting to look like a stuffed sausage, right? So, so it happens to all of us, all right? But um, I'm no slouchy when it comes to health. And I kind of take it personal when somebody tells me to take multivitamins. Something that's so basic, you know, to me it's insulting, all right? That means that you don't believe that I'm going through something, that, that, that it can't be anything more serious, okay? Um, I actually even asked for a test for... Uh, Epstein bar, not that I believe I have it. Um, but now I did some some um laser light on my wrist around the main veins, and that really helped. And I've been walking on reflexology uh sandals. In fact, let me show them to you. So these are the sandals I've been walking on the first day. I mean, I own a bunch of these, so this is nothing new to me, but you do forget what you have in your closet. And I went to a flea market, spotted them out. I fi figured they, they have um, harder trigger points than the ones that I have because I have different types. Um, and so I bought them. I wore them. They will bother me immensely, which means it's, it's working on me. It means that I needed it. And... Um, that day I had a fabulous day and a fabulous next day. Now, mind you, I always have to wear the guard. <clears throat> if I don't wear the guard, I'm going to have a very bad day. And if I don't sleep appropriately, meaning facing the ceiling like a dead person and pointing my chin up, um, sometimes I think I do better without a pillow. So I sleep without a pillow, flat. Um, there have been times that with a pillow, it actually helps. So I, I feel my body out and I do what I can, right? So I'm not neglecting to take care of my body. By the way, when I put yogurt in my smoothie, <coughs> be careful that if, if you take Greek yogurt, it should be Kabat. This is the only one I'm told by a Greek person that actually has the cultures of Greek yogurt. The other ones are kind of like fake, all right? And you feel it. Now they have it in vanilla bean, okay? So this is the vanilla bean ver version here. I do the 2%, by the way. Uh, this has kind of like less probiotics. It's diluted with 
vanilla and it's got some kind of sweetener in it. I'm not sure what it is. I don't, I, I doubt that it's sugar, but anyway, because it does make a difference too, but this makes a whopping of a difference. So if you try putting this or this in a smoothie, I used uh, strawberries and, and bananas. I ran out of strawberries now uh, because I dropped them <laughs> when I came out of the car. Uh, but anyway, um, so when I give a bunch of symptoms, to a doctor is because I want to be organized, not because I'm an actress and trying to set him up so he could lie for me, so he could sign a paper with the insurance company because I happen to be an insurance agent. I'm not working because I can't, because I can't be talking too much. I think my doctor doesn't believe that I have been disabled these months. I cannot talk on the phone uh, past 20 minutes. I it start swelling up past an hour. Sometimes if, I, if I'm, you know, if I slept the right way, uh, I could go past an hour. Um, miraculously, when I when when I wore these um, these sandals on uh, the the what holiday was it? Crying out loud! I guess it was the Fourth of July. Um, time flies, huh? Uh, it made a difference. It gave me energy for the whole week. Um, I, I'm doing some Chinese medicine where I put laser lights here, and the thing died all after using it, it once. But you put it by your main arteries or veins, whatever, and that really, I believe, made a difference. So I ordered another one. Uh, you got you got to study for years to know what I'm doing. This is not something that that you just wake up knowing how to do, right? Um, so at any rate, um, so when I give a bunch of symptoms to my doctor, it means I've worked on it, you know. Or you know, so he comes back and he tells he, you know, I I never saw a prescription to take vitamins, but I saw it when it was a printout when when I went to a different doctor. I called the nurse back. I said, "Did you just prescribe this to me?" She's no, whatever was there was there from your other doctor. Oh, really? Well, the other doctor never made it clear that I had such a prescription or recommendation, which you know, quite frankly, you know, it's a cheap shot. It, that that's a response to my to my symptoms, the list of symptoms. It's like take vitamins seriously, but you won't sign um, uh, an insurance form because you don't believe me, right? You don't believe that 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 I, I, I'm suffering from a bunch of things, which includes fatigue, right? So if I'm suffering from fatigue, you better believe I'm the kind of person I'm going to do the very basic at the very least, like vitamins, you know. Um, but he won't sign, a, he won't sign that, that I've been suffering for my insurance company. He says he can't guarantee anything. So what does that mean? He doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe my symptoms. Um, I don't have my symptoms printed out before me right now, but he does. Okay. And so I indicate that there may be a pinched nerve. There's something going on that's blocking the natural blood flow that's causing me to tire easily. Okay, I mean, I was in an accident after all. Is that hard to believe? Um, I don't think that's hard to believe, but you're telling me to take vitamins, right? So you're, you're, you're mildly going through my symptoms. You're, you're being irresponsive to my request to sign a paper. You obviously don't believe me. You think I'm some kind of an actress or something. Uh, you're ignoring my every request to get that thing signed because I called the nurse. I spoke to his nurse two or three times. And then I did see him after like two times that I spoken to, to her and I brought my list again. I brought my form for him to sign, except I skipped the page with the signature sign, uh, the signature page. Uh, so I told him I'll, 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 I'll upload it. And there we go again, the game of ignoring Felice's emails. So now we're on a roller coaster ride and I can't get him to sign anything. Many emails with the attachments have gone through. I did have a, 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 a little error there that instead of date of birth, I was supposed to put the date of the accident. So, um, uh, my, the, the, the doctor I just seen, I don't, I don't think I, I should name names here, but, um, he graciously pointed out that it should be um, not the date of birth, the date of accident. Okay, so so I said, well, we could scratch it off and I'll initially. He says, no, just just fix it and upload it. I says, yeah, but that's going to take another month because that's the the roller coaster ride I've been on with the other doctor. He says, no, I promise it's gonna it's gonna happen. There's no game here. And I said, can you also encourage him to start responding? So sure enough, when I got home, I saw that uh, my primary doctor did respond 
finally. And he he explained that I I had an error. Well, the error was that I was missing the signature page, but I uploaded that the very next day and I uploaded it again and I uploaded it again and again. I actually removed things that I had put an X by because I figured maybe he thought I was trying to manipulate him. Yeah, because he told me that he's not going to lie. So I reflected on that. I said, let me, let me not X anything out. Let him, X, you know, choose what boxes to check. All right. I was doing him a favor, I thought, because I know what my ailments are. And uh, as I'm told, he has many, many patients. That's why he's very, very busy. He can't respond to me. But hello, I'm a patient too. Okay. So um, at any rate, um, yeah, I sound very aggravated. It's only five o'clock in the morning because uh, this is what they have been putting me through. All right. Uh, I take the necessary precaution, sleep the right way, use this guard. If I, if I didn't use this guard in the middle of the night, trust me, I would really, I wouldn't be here talking because I would be swollen. Okay. Now I, the, the doctor, the surgeon that I just uh, met for the first time, we had an appointment. He confirmed that it's the muscles. Um, thank God. All right. It's just the muscle. So that means all I need is a therapy that I saw on a Facebook. Somebody posted it was successful. And when he said it, I knew what he was talking about because somebody had already posted about that. So I'm excited. He even gave me the exercises. I think I'm going to go actually to, for the treatment because A, it should be documented and B, um, it, it's twice a week. It's a lot of mileage, but I think it's going to be worth it to, uh, to, to go and, and have it done besides having it in writing. Uh, because I, I think on a, I'm going to go one day without, without, without doing this. And they're going to see how bad of a condition I'm in. And then I'm going to go on other days when I do it. And they're going to see the difference. Cause I, I feel like I really have to jump through hoops and I got to stand on my head kind of thing to prove that I truly am a victim. And I truly have been disabled when they see me uh, my appearance when I don't do this or sleep upright, which quite frankly, I'm not too sure I'm going to go all the way in doing that. Cause I'm not going to punish myself. Um, but, uh, maybe I won't wear the night guard for like two hours and, and believe me, two hours in the night without that affects me plenty the next day. Um, yeah, my own, my own prescription. That's right. Homemade, a homemade guard. I bought plenty of guards. I tried to, I figured it out, you know, how to wear them and came out with this conclusion. And believe me, this little thing is a miracle for me. Okay. Uh, without this, um, <laughs> like I said, I wouldn't be talking. Doctors have done very little. My chiropractor is my new, new chiropractor is a miracle worker. He's giving me exercises and, and then I go to the office and eventually I crack. He's making it happen. He cares. He knows about me. He's giving it a go. Okay. So these are all things that I'm taking that most people don't even know about, um, for my health. Uh, there's the oatmeal, by the way, that I got to start taking for my high cholesterol as well. Okay. I, I, I neglect things because you can't do everything at one time. Right. So I got to start really, really, really do making it an effort to, to take this oatmeal, um, because oatmeal, um, powder that's organic. It says it right here. It lowers your cholesterol. You see that? So, so I got, I got to get back to this. All right. But doing an irrigation, that's what it's called. Colonic irrigation includes all these items. Okay. These items, uh, the, the, my, the specialized powder, or you could juice. I'm actually doing both. And then what you do is you massage your stomach because you, you want to, um, I massage it with a massager that you could feel so it can massage the colon and uh, help it clear out. And it takes a couple of months. This is not done overnight. And then you really should do this. I really haven't been doing this. Um, I have something better than this, by the way. I have the bag. And um, <clears throat> regardless, um, all of these things is how you do an irrigation. When you do irrigation, quite frankly, you drop all that cholesterol and weight, of course. Um, which is really, really time for me to do. It's a little past due, if anything, just because I knew the, know these things doesn't mean I'm implementing each and every one of them at the same time. So I decided to make this film so I could show this as further evidence, whether I go to court, whether I need to, I'm, I'm going to upload this into Geisinger, 
Uh, please don't be offended that I've said anything. I, I'm not meaning to try to say something bad about um, any particular doctor or the profession. I do respect. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I said. Your doctors of medicine is the truth. Your doctors of medicine. Um, you know, a doctor of health is more like an alternative doctor. Um, in my definition, I have the right to have my own opinion. So please don't take it personal. I do respect greatly each and every doctor that I have seen. I'm just not very happy with having a primary doctor that appears to not believe my symptoms or conclude that I'm disabled due to the accident, not because I have, I need vitamins. Okay. It's not a vitamin issue. Okay. I was in an accident and, and I have a very good chiropractor. I can't wait to get his report because I'm going to show them a thing or two so they can learn a little bit more about me because this doctor is an, also a certified expert on car crashes. And he told me that I was on a very bad car crash based on my description, how everything in my car fell apart, how my barrette broke, um, everything that was in any drawer, everything just fell off. Okay, that's how bad it was. This, this is nothing to sneeze at. And of course, I'm going to have issues, right? I mean, I'm up there in age, by the way, you know. So yes, I have issues as a result of the accident, not because I'm a vitamin deficient. Hello? Yeah, I'm frustrated, even at five o'clock in the morning. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.